Hi, for this video, we're going to tackle the steps in following painting analysis. I'm your facilitator, Kathleen C. Adahar. Our main objective is for you to write a paragraph analysis of a painting. Here are the steps. First, view the painting. Second, spend a longer time looking at it. Take note of the details, like the colors, the shapes, the lines, the images that you see. Third is jot or write down words, phrases, ideas that cross your mind when viewing the painting. For example, you have this painting titled Bulaklak by Angela Pascual. What do you see? List them down. You see a flower. Below it, there are women. The woman at the left looks pregnant. So we have a pregnant woman. Uterus, the red mark at the center. It resembles the uterus or the womb. Fallopian tubes, they are the bodies of the women that resemble the fallopian tubes. You have ovaries, the hair of the women. Then you might see wine glass. So earlier we mentioned uterus or the womb, but it resembles wine glass. So write it down. The work is find a unifying element out of the terms that you have listed. What unifies these terms? So you might say womanhood or being a woman or femininity. is form your opinion out from the words that you have listed and come up with a topic sentence. So here's a sample. Bulaklak by Angela Pascual reveals some aspects pertaining to womanhood. You have your subject Bulaklak which is the title of the painting. Always follow it with the name of the artist because you might just be talking about any other painting having the same title. Reveals, that's your verb, some aspects pertaining to womanhood that is your opinion about the painting. As an amateur critic, make this topic sentence as your first sentence in the paragraph. Writing a topic sentence, you begin with the subject, which is the title of the work, followed by your verb, and your controlling idea. This controlling idea is your opinion, your judgment, or view about the work. And it is not factual. One cannot pass as a topic sentence because it is factual. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is found at the Louvre Museum. If you have this statement, Mona Lisa, by Leonardo da Vinci is mysterious. There, you have a topic sentence because the word mysterious is your judgment about the work. It's your opinion. After formulating the topic sentence, construct your succeeding sentences which support your claim. And your supporting sentences should stick to the topic sentence. Do not go out of the topic. Remember the qualities of a good paragraph. Unity, coherence, emphasis. You have learned them before. End your paragraph properly with a conclusion. And don't forget to review your grammar and spelling. The main problem is... What is the content of the supporting sentences? How will I prove my topic sentence? You will remember the content in reading the image. It's an essay written by Alice Guillermo. We are going to apply the planes of analysis. And that will be the content of your supporting sentences. You may see or watch my previous YouTube video on the key points of reading the image. Still in this channel. 
According to Guillermo, there are varying interpretations. The challenge is on how to prove our claim. Okay, let's now have a sample analysis. Bulaklak, 2004 by Angela Pascual. Done by Angela Pasquale. Well. It's pasta on paper. It's 14 inches by 10 inches only. It's small. In 2004, Pasquale and other members of Circle of the Art from Xavier University at the Neo de Gabriel were commissioned to make artworks related to the play The Vagina Monologues by Eva Ensler. Here is my sample paragraph. Start with the topic sentence. Bulaklak by Angela Pasqual reveals some aspects pertaining to womanhood. First of all, with the presence of a flower and the image below it that resembles the female reproductive organ, Pasqual presents a metaphor that women are like flowers capable of reproduction. So you will see in my second sentence, it's a combination of basic semiotic and you look at the images, you look at colors, you look at the image itself also is iconic play. Second, she shows us two images of women forming the fallopian tubes and ovaries, where one woman is pregnant while the other is not. This tells us a reality that some women are capable of bearing a child while others are not. Third sentence is an example of iconic play. I focused on the images, the images of the women there holding hands. And the representation of the fallopian tubes of the ovaries. The fourth sentence is evaluative plane. I'm looking into an issue, a social issue, that there are women who are blessed with having children while others are not capable of having children. Not to be missed is the striking red color at the center, which looks like a cup, representing the womb or uterus where life of a fetus begins. This shows us that a mother is the source of life, and red, which signifies blood, represents life. So the fifth sentence is a combination of basic semiotic plane and iconic plane. I look at the color red, and I put representations to it. I focus also in the, on the images, so iconic plane. Number six is a combination of evaluative plane and basic semiotic. When I said that the mother is the source of life, that, that's something universal, that, that's a social issue. And when I mention red signifying blood and life, that's basic semiotic plane. This womb that looks like a cup, one is also reminder, reminded of Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code where he claims that the Holy Grail or cup is actually the womb of Mary Magdalene. In sum, the images in the painting all point to the significant role of women in society, being a mother, the source of new life. Number seven is an example of contextual play. I related the work to another work. In that case, it's the novel done by Dan Brown. And if you remember earlier in the third step, we wrote wine glass as one of the images that we see in the painting. So that's related to the holy grail or the cup, which resembles the womb of a woman. And if you have read a novel, it's not a tangible cup that they were searching for, but it's the womb of Mary and at the same time, it's my conclusion. I'm looking into the significant role of women in society being a mother. So with that, we have one paragraph analysis having eight sentences but incorporating all the four planes of analysis, basic semiotic, iconic, contextual, and evaluative
watch my other videos on art appreciation. Thank you very much for watching.